Your Excellency, uh, dear Deputy Prime Minister, Dr. Khaled Abdel Ghaffar, uh, our dear colleague and friend, uh, Sean uh, Jones from USAID, uh, Dr. Naama Saeed uh, from WHO, partners from USAID, WHO, and the Ministry of Health and Population, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to address you today as we mark the successful completion of the joint supporting the urgent needs of Egypt's COVID-19 response activities, which was based on bridging into One Health. Uh, this has a significant impact on Egypt's health system, not only by responding to the urgent needs at the time of COVID-19, but also by paving the way for future public health interventions under the One Health National Strategic Framework. At the beginning of the pandemic, many countries, including Egypt, faced unprecedented and multidimensional challenges that overwhelmed the national health systems. As an immediate response at the time, the government of Egypt swiftly implemented measures to curb the spread of the virus, working diligently to ensure the safety and well-being of its citizens. On the longer term, more efforts were also exerted to build sustainable solutions beyond the immediate crisis response, enhancing our resilience against future public health threats. For this, multi-stakeholder partnerships were a key element to overcome the pandemic and also rebuild for economic stability. Uh, bringing diverse expertise, comparative advantage of our development partners in various sectors was the only way to ensure quality and impactful outcomes. Ladies and gentlemen, human capital is one of the main pillars in economic development, and the government of Egypt is keen to address the related challenges within the development strategies. I'm also very happy that I'm part uh, of the ministerial group related to human capital development under the leadership of the Deputy Prime Minister. And when we take a look at the different cooperation frameworks, we find that the first pillar is always uh, fostering human capital. If we take a look at the UN uh, strategy, it's uh, uh, fostering human capital through equal access to quality services, social protection, and ensuring social justice for all people. Similarly, uh, when we take a look at March 22, the pandemic response project between the Ministry of Health and Population, USAID, and WHO also helped accelerate equitable distribution and access to safe COVID-19 vaccinations, thus reducing the morbidity as well as mortality caused uh, by the virus, which had very important implications on the Egyptian people. These efforts also laid the foundations for strengthening Egypt's health systems to better prevent, detect, and respond to the pandemic threats, not only for COVID, but also for any future potential threat. This brings us here today to this event, where we gather to reflect on the achievements of the joint COVID-19 response project. Over the past two years, this project has played a crucial role in reinforcing the nation's health infrastructure, ensuring that we are better equipped to manage any potential future public health challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, the flagship partnership has resulted in some necessary developments. And let me just mention a few. First, establishment of the One Health Strategy, where human, animal, and environmental health could be comprehensively considered to prevent and manage health threats at their source. Second, strengthening systems to address antimicrobial resistance through launching Egypt's AMR operational plan. Third, enhancing the risk uh, uh, communication and community engagement, and this is through public awareness and engagement. Fourth, the Infection Prevention Control, IPC, which happens across healthcare facilities in all 27 governorates, hence leaving no one behind. And then finally, the case management and capacity building through provision of vital training and health care professionals, and this is where the sustainability of any project takes place. Honorable guests, the success, the success we celebrate today would not have been possible without the efforts and collaboration of many dedicated individuals and organizations. Let me extend my heartfelt gratitude to our partners, USAID, WHO, as well as the Ministry of Health and Population for their commitment to safeguarding the health and well-being of the Egyptian people. Building on lessons learned, we are committed to strengthening the One Health approach further, ensuring that our health systems are resilient and that we are prepared to respond to any future pandemic. In closing, let me reiterate that this project has contributed to Egypt's public health future. Together, we have shown what is possible when we work collaboratively, and together, I'm confident that we will continue to make strides towards a healthier and safer Egypt. Thank you very much.